Some good news at last. Mazda is introducing a third generation of the popular CX-5 vehicle as a build-up of the first and second generations. It will launch in 2025 and have the beloved hybrid powertrain. However, with the current second generation facing tough competition, concerns arise regarding its ability to maintain its market position until the arrival of the third generation. Join us in this video for all the details. Let's get started. Under threat. The Mazda CX-5 has had an impressive track record as Australia's best-selling SUV for seven consecutive years, spanning from 2012 to 2019. Not only was it a hit in Australia, but it also enjoyed consistent success as Mazda's top-selling model globally. However, the introduction of newer models like the CX-30 presents a significant challenge to its continued triumph. The heightened competition raised concerns about the future of the CX-5, leading to speculation that its dominance might be nearing its end. Recognizing the urgency to tackle this challenge head-on, Mazda is actively working on a solution by developing the highly anticipated third generation of the Mazda CX-5. This news brings hope for the longevity of the CX-5, but unfortunately, the launch of the new generation is not expected to happen anytime soon. Oh, that is bad. This delay raises questions about how the current second generation CX-5 will fare against its increasingly competitive rivals. We will delve into this topic in detail later on in the video. Go. Go. Anywhere. The new generation. As indicated, Mazda is introducing a new, third-generation model to ensure the continued popularity of the CX-5 and address the existing challenges. The CX-5 has been highly regarded for its attractive design, enjoyable driving experience, and practicality. When it was first launched in 2012, the initial CX-5 showcased Mazda's innovative Kodo design language and SkyActiv technology. In 2016, the second-generation CX-5 built upon its predecessor's success, incorporating design, technology, and overall refinement improvements. And now there is going to be a third generation. The upcoming third-generation CX-5 is expected to maintain its familiar layout, featuring four-cylinder engines and the option for either front or all-wheel drive. It will be displayed in showrooms alongside Mazda's new lineup of six-cylinder or plug-in hybrid SUVs, including the similarly sized CX-60. However, these alternative models will come at a higher price, with a cost of over $65,000 drive-away, which is $25,000 more than the cheapest CX-5. The third generation will surely come at a lower cost, but perhaps even more impressive is its use of the hybrid powertrain. More details about this shortly. But before we get into that, kindly make sure to subscribe to this channel for all the latest car updates. Hybrid powertrain. In recent years, the popularity of hybrid powertrains has soared thanks to their enhanced fuel efficiency and lower carbon emissions. Toyota, holding a 5% ownership stake in Mazda, has previously collaborated with Mazda on joint models and hybrid technology. Given this partnership, there is a strong likelihood that the upcoming Mazda CX-5 will embrace a hybrid powertrain akin to the Toyota RAV4 or Corolla Cross. This speculation is further supported by the statement made by Mazda Australia Marketing Director Alastair Doak to drive, where he alluded to the possibility of a hybrid CX-5 in the future, that would be telling, wouldn't it? But as I said before, there's a new generation car eventually coming. But it's not next year, it's further away. This collaboration between Mazda and Toyota paves the way for integrating hybrid technology into the CX-5, offering customers a greener and more fuel-efficient alternative. Impressive. Can the second generation till then? Despite concerns about its survival amidst competition from other top vehicles, there is a reasonable possibility that the current generation of the CX-5 will endure until the arrival of the third generation. Are you sure? The second-generation Mazda CX-5 retains its own set of advantages, even with the impending release of the next model. One notable aspect is its affordability, especially when compared to the CX-50 base trim. This cost-effectiveness makes it an appealing option for a broader range of consumers, 
particularly in the current economic climate characterized by inflation. Although Canadian sales of the CX-5 have experienced a 32% decrease in 2023, they still surpassed CX-50 sales by a significant margin of approximately 5 to 1. Moreover, the CX-50 has faced availability issues, with some customers encountering delivery delays of over 12 months. That's bad. However, one challenge that Mazda will face when the third generation is finally introduced is to compete with the likes of the Volkswagen 2025 ID, which is set to be released in the same year. It's a heated competition. The vehicle is set to launch with a new futuristic interior and exterior design, making it head to beat. Watch the next video for details. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below.